Hey everybody, Mike here. Welcome to the channel and welcome to, wait for it, a new video in Maya 2024. Now, Maya 2024 has been released. It has a bunch of new uh, options and features and in this video we're going to be talking about one of them. Now, this is a big deal for me because this is a feature I wish Maya had a long time ago and I'm super, super happy with it. So without further ado and talking until the cows come home, let me just show you, right? So we're gonna grab a random model. We're gonna go up to uh, Windows. We're gonna go to the content browser and then we're gonna go to the examples tab. We're gonna go to modeling. We're gonna go to sculpting base meshes, bipeds, and we're gonna click on this guy, basic head. Double click, open that up. And we're gonna leave it in wireframe mode because that's relevant to this tutorial. We're going to select it, we're going to hit scale, hit R to scale down, a Y, well, because we can, and we're going to raise that up, hit after frame. All right, now this is our model and we've been working on it for a long, long time and we're so happy with it and all that and we didn't make a backup because we're stupid and uh, okay, so this is it, right? So for whatever reason, I said, okay, now it's time to uh, smooth it out. So with this selected, I'm going to go up to a mesh and we're going to go to smooth option box. I'm just going to go to edit and reset. So we're just, you know, straight up and smooth. So we're going to go to mesh and we're going to go to smooth. Yeah. All right. So we get this. Now I'm going to type in three because I want it to look like this, right? For whatever reason. All right. So I have this and now I'm going to do something incredibly stupid. I'm going to select this and I'm going to go to edit and delete by type history because that's what we do all the time, right? Okay, now what? Now I basically have a model that is kind of useless. Now I could remesh and retopo, but you never know what you're going to get and it's it's it kind of sucks, right? So now what? Well, here comes the new feature. What we're gonna do is we're gonna get rid of this guy and we're gonna do the whole thing again, but with a new feature. So Windows, we're gonna go to Content Browser. Oh, they moved it. No, they didn't. I think I'm going blind. Oh, there it is. All right, okay, so we've got this guy. Here it is. We're gonna scale it down once again. We're gonna hit the W to pull it up and we're gonna hit After Frame. All right, so this is our model and i want to smooth that once again so we're going to go up to mesh and smooth but this time we're going to go to the option box in the option box make sure that you're at edit reset so it's all straight up we're going to go to a subdivision type maya catmull Maya catmull clark to be exact right and i suggest you look up the name catmull if you don't know who that is because you should know who that is right so that's selected and i'm going to click on smooth and I'm going to go completely nuts here and I'm going to click on subdivision level three. So it's very, very dense. And now I'm going to do something monumental stupid because I'm going to select it and I'm going to go to edit and delete by type and history. So now my model is basically garbage, right? I can completely retopo it, quad dry it, uh, something like that. But other than that, what am I going to do with this? Well, look at this magic. We're going to have it selected. We're going to go to mesh. We're going to go to unsmooth, right? We're going to click on that. How do you like them apples? And we have our original model back. Now, I think that is very, very cool. I know that other software applications can do something similar. Uh, I don't know if they can do that when uh, history is deleted, but I am super, super happy with this. So let me know in the comments what you think, if you will be using this. And let me know if you want to see more videos in Maya 2024 where I explain the new features. Well, that's it for this very short video. Nevertheless, uh, I don't make videos to make them long. I make them to make them relevant, right? So if you did enjoy it, hit the like, hit the subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.